Welcome back to the channel, today I'm going to share with you about WordPress 5.5, this is the new release of WordPress and it comes with quite a number of new changes. There are speed improvements, there is improvement in searchability and security and I just want us to zero down on the search and searchability. Now one of the things that Google Webmasters asks you if you want to index your site a little bit faster and and watch how you actually enter into the search engine of Google or Bing or whatever search engine you want to submit your work, you use something called uh, sitemaps, XML sitemaps. Now WordPress for a long time hasn't had this and we've had to use plugins like Yoast, like XML sitemaps to generate for us the sitemaps that we submit to Google. But this is a new investment that has been made by a couple of developers most of them attached to WordPress and Google at the same time and, and with this your sitemap is already on your site the moment you install WordPress 5.5. So let me show you how what that looks like, so if I'm going to go to the extension of my site and I'm going to type wp sitemap.xml, so when I type that immediately you'll see that I have a number of sitemaps listed here. So I have one on posts, one of pages, one of the elemental library, one of taxonomies and one of users and as you click on each one of them you're able to see the different sitemaps attached. So what if you don't want to use this sitemap ability that's new in WordPress? If you use plugins like yours or most of the XML plugins are going to automatically turn this off the moment they are installed. So if you're not using any other plugin to do your XML sitemaps and that particular plugin doesn't have this automatically turned off, then you'll need to turn it off yourself. Or if you don't want to use any XML sitemaps, you want to keep everything hidden inside your site. This is what you need to do. There are two ways. The first is writing lines of code. The second one is installing a plugin that actually does that for you. The first step is you can go into your functions.php file, so I'm going to go to appearance, go to my theme editor and I'll click that I understand what's going on and I'm going to look for my functions.php file. Now inside my functions.php file I'm going to write a very simple line that will help me with this. Now where I get this information is as you go to the 5.5 release guide map you'll see that there is a new XML sitemaps functionality. And if you click on this, it opens up this page for you. Now it lists all the things you can do with the XML sitemap, but in particular we're going to look at the WP sitemaps enabled hook. This one filters to show us whether the XML sitemaps are enabled or not. Now we want to disable it, so what we're going to do is go here and add a new filter, so we add filter and we're going to look for the hook which is WP sitemaps enabled, just like what we have here, so WP sitemaps enabled. And then the next thing is we're going to use an inbuilt function of WordPress which helps us to do one thing and that is to return false, so we type two underscores, return and then false. Once we do this and save it, let's go back to our XML sitemap, before we had this showing up, when we reload you'll actually see it tells us that this is no longer available, so that's how we disable this particular sitemap. So this is an inbuilt function of WordPress that essentially just does one thing, if you look it up on the developer page you'll see that this function is just built like this, so it's just this and all it does is return false, so this is working as we needed it to. Now if we didn't want to write code, if we don't want to write one line of code here, we can just go to our plugins, when we go to add a new plugin, this plugin is called disable WP sitemaps, as I look here I'm not finding it easily, so I'm just going to add on the author of the plugin to make it come out faster and he's called Jeff Star, and it's right here, so we'll install disable WP sitemaps and activate it. So once we do that, let's hit this again and we'll see that this is no longer existing. So that's how we do it both with the code and with the plugin. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm going to show you more that you can do with the WP sitemaps. 
don't forget to turn on the subscription notifications, subscribe, share with a friend, and just let me know in the comments how you're going to work with the sitemaps, whether you'll continue using your plugin or you'll just disable the whole thing. So enjoy your day!